What are these funky cats? It's just Jason here, only just Jason. And the other day, or just yesterday, I got a question about the time machine. So I'm making this video just to try and clear it up for everybody, like what it's all about, the whole, the whole deal. So yeah, the time machine. That was back in the days of, can't remember, and when we, when we released the Mr. Leech EP. And it's a song as well, like we've, we've got recordings of it. And it's up on YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, or I can, I can even play it in this video maybe, sort of. Like, we'll just see if there's enough time for that. But yeah, so... We went back in time, that's me and Dylan Davis, aka Synthetic, and yeah, it's back when we were in Can't Remember Our Band, and we built a time machine and went back in time to, well, we did it three times. The first couple of times they were because it, it didn't go quite right because the machine was still in a prototype kind of a stage, and that we ran into some people from the past and we had to like kind of make deals and stuff so that they wouldn't go to the police and sort of have us trapped back in time sort of thing but yeah by the third time like they happened in 1930 and 20 and back then we were actually trying to get to the 60s and we eventually did and we recorded a song with Jimi Hendrix and the last part of the song ended up on the album, but the first part of the song we couldn't get it on our album and had copyright problems. So we still got it on our website. If you if you put your email address into our website on like can't remember www.cantremember.com, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, recorded like Voodoo Child with Jimi Hendrix. So yeah, that's the song. And yeah, you can get the song pretty much in uh, cartmember.com and you put uh, your email address in and you'll get a link to that sort of thing. And we may even upload it on our SoundCloud, we don't know, maybe, maybe not, maybe in the future. But the next album we put out, we'll probably upload it to SoundCloud then. But until then, yeah, you'll have to go to the website. So that ended up on, the uh, second half of the album ended up on EP. So that's kind of the proof that that happened and got video of it and that happened about uh, a couple of years ago we went and did that and we ended up having to destroy the time machine so it's not around anymore because of certain problems as you can imagine. A lot of people ask us why we built a time machine and why we want to do that sort of stuff. Well, because we wanted to kind of be the first people to do that. But I don't really want anyone asking me that much about how to build one. Uh, there's a few things that I can tell you right now, like... We did have to actually go faster than the speed of light to uh, achieve it. And it had to be built out of graphene because like, it had, the structure had to be strong enough to be able to withstand like extreme forces and high energy like, like forces and stuff like that so that so I wouldn't like be destroyed in itself sort of thing yeah, I'll put it up. I'll put a link to that in the description to the time machine, to the website. I can't remember the website to get the song. And you know, I can leave the link to maybe the CD to get it, you know, to buy. And yeah, the video. And yeah, that's about it. But yeah, any, any questions that you do want to ask, just not, I don't want to get too technical into it or anything. But yeah, just write in the comments and I'll get back to you about it. So here's a couple other dot points I just wanted to add. So it was 1968, but the year that we went to with, with Jimi Hendrix. In the video, the camera, like in the actual video that, that we were recording the time machine, it's like a camera that I had 
like a helmet sort of a thing. And yeah, like that was what I was wearing in the video. That's me been running around sort of thing. And you can see Synthetic, aka Dylan Davis, which I won't really want to put that. Um, like the camera it keeps like this white noise. That's because the time travel it breaks particles down like at one point and transports them to another sort of thing. Almost like teleportation but not quite. Uh, so yeah, because it's just because you're moving so quick. That's why the camera keeps going white noisy and stuff like that. Um, same with audio equipment, like it was picking up white noise and shit like that. So that's why I kept doing that sort of stuff. I can leave um, some links to the, the, the two incidents that we had before we actually got to the 60s. I'll leave them to the links to them two things because they're actually covered on the news and stuff like that. So yeah, the links are going to be in the description for them or, or in these sanitations right here, right now, wherever they are. I'll put them somewhere in here. Oh yeah, in the video also you can see which year uh, we're at with, because we had like things to measure which year we're in. You can see it, that's just counting backwards sort of thing going through the years. So yeah, I hope you dig today's video my friend. If you do, click the like button, share and favourite this video, and don't forget to subscribe, wherever it may be, the button, you know it's YouTube, they do over. Just, yeah. But wherever the button is, or in the annotations in the next part of the video, um, yeah, subscribe and may your vibrations fare you well. See you next week, my friend.